Hey there, it's Dina Collada, the copywriting chick. And I wanna talk a little bit about branding today because branding is so important for your business online. And one of the problems I've encountered is I use Photoshop sometimes and I created my logo in Photoshop and then I wanted to create graphics for social media and my website in Canva. And the font isn't in Canva, so what are you supposed to do? I tried to find a font that matched this American typewriter font in Canva, and this is the closest one I could find. And it might work for you to try to find something that is similar, but I want my branding to be consistent through everything, through the website, through social media, through YouTube, through everywhere. So I wanna show you today how to download the fonts that you've already gotten in your logo or in your branding and how you can put them into Canva so you can create graphics in Canva a lot easier than in Photoshop or other places. All right, so I'm gonna click here and I used um, the copywriting word. You can see up here it's American typewriter font. So what I'm gonna do is go to Google, open a little tab here and just type in download American typewriter. All right, so let's get American typewriter font, American typewriter font. Download for free. This is at fontsgeek.com. That looks pretty similar. Let's make sure. Uh, let's look at a couple letters. The P looks the same. The O looks the same. The R has this little curl. All right, so that looks perfect. So I'm gonna download this zip file. So that should go straight into my downloads. I'm gonna give them five stars because that's amazing. I can get this for free from them. And right here in Google Chrome, my zip file is right there. You can see it in my downloads, American typewriter font. Awesome. So how are you gonna put it into Canva? What you're gonna do is highlight the word that you wanna change, and you can click here on the Fonts tab. And I was doing a search on a font, so I need to click this arrow space here on the top left to go back. And then if you go all the way to the bottom of the font section, you can see where it says upload a font, and then click that. Here we go. Right here underneath this font section, you can click upload a font again. And then I'm gonna to go to my downloads area. And here I've got the American typewriter font. I'm gonna try, um, I've already clicked it to open it, so I've opened the zip file. And then let's go ahead and click American typewriter regular. It's a TTF file. Please confirm the following, it says, by uploading my custom font, I acknowledge that I own American typewriter font or I have the right to use it for my intended purposes. Ooh, so I should probably check that. Um, let's go here into the font information. Wow, only one person downloaded that today. Uh, so let's scroll down. I don't see where it is. Um, where it says I need to pay for it, but let's do a quick Google search and you should do this too so you don't get um, in trouble for copyright infringement. Let's type is American typewriter font uh, royalty free. Uh, let's see. It says it's only allowed for personal use. So that could be an issue, right? Let's look and see if we need to pay for that. Uh, which is weird because I have it in Photoshop. So I think that I have so I do actually own the font in Photoshop, which I pay for. So I'm going to assume since I pay for it in Photoshop, I have the right to use it in my designs since I created it in Photoshop. 
I'm not an attorney. If you have any questions about that, please speak to your attorney about this. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. Okay, so I am going to click yes, upload away. So then I'll be able to put my font that I need in here. Let's see, we've got it here, it's showing up, American Typewriter, regular. So the next thing I wanna do is download Arial Black. So I'll type that into Google. Arial Black font. So we're gonna to go to the Download Free Fonts website and I'm gonna click Download Arial Black. That's processing, it'll take just a minute. All right, now it's a TTF file, so I'm gonna click that. You can see all of these here. So now that we're on this Canva page where it says Upload Font, we can just click that Upload Font area and we'll go to the Download section and let's look for the Arial Black TTF. So you're gonna simply click on that, upload it as long as you have the rights to use it. Upload files and look here, Arial Black regular is in my fonts in Canva now. So I'm super excited because I can go and I can use um, the fonts that I created in Photoshop, look here, and now I can use those in Canva. And I really hope that this has been helpful. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, you can go to my website, copywritingchick.com, and you can sign up for my free hot marketing tips newsletter. And please check out my next video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any comments or questions that you have below. And I'll see you in the next video.